Hi, I'm Nick D'Agostino, and this is Pat Flynn for IWokeUpToday.com, and today we're going to be talking about batteries. So, Pat, could you think of anything that uses batteries? Remote controls, computers, flashlights, cell phones, computers, remote controls, computers. Batteries are storehouses for electrochemicals. Now, these electrochemicals, they interact with each other and produce electrons, which are negatively charged particles in an atom. Now these electrons, when they flow through circuits, they create the el electricity that powers our lights, our phones, our computers, our cars, our lights. So a battery is made of four parts. There's a negatively charged anode, a positively charged cathode, electrolytes, and electrochemicals. So what happens is the electrochemicals shoot off little bit, little electrons, negatively charged particles, onto one side, onto the negatively charged side. Now, because everything wants to be stable, these electrons want to just move back to the positive side and even everything out. But the electrolytes inside it block it. So the only way these electrons can actually move is when you hook it up to a circuit. So when you hook it up to a circuit, the electrons are allowed to move from one end all the way around into the circuit, lighting and powering whatever you want it to, back into the positive side. After all the electrons move from the anode through the circuits to power whatever you want it to and end up in the cathode, when all that's done, your batteries die. That's like why your, your cell phone battery will die. The first modern battery was invented by Alessandro Volta in 1800. And from his last name, we get words like voltage in the Mars Volta. Today, scientists are developing a type of battery called power paper. It's as thin as paper and is used the same way we use normal batteries, which means as the size of batteries shrink, the size of the bodies of these things that we carry around with cell phones, remote controls, computers, will be able to get smaller. So thanks so much for joining us today for our talk about batteries. Now next time you use your cell phone or your car or your computer or your phone or your car or anything that uses a battery. Remote control. Remote control. Camera. Computer. Computer. Car. Flashlight. So hopefully we sparked a little bit of interest in this subject for you and you go and you take it a little further. And please, if you do, tell us about the stuff that you learned. Share it with us. Uh, you know, send us an email or uh, write on our comments page. You know, let us know about the stuff that you found out that we didn't find out for you because we want to know about it. So if you like this video, please share it with your friends. Make sure you tweet it on the Twitterers and uh, send it out through your Hotmail account to all your friends and uh, let everybody know. And please don't forget every day to learn you're human. Thanks so much. That was pretty good, man. Yeah. I actually understood that. <laughs>